If you have a gaming laptop, probably you've been the same as everyone else. There are times you've been worried about your spiking thermals, especially when doing heavy workloads like gaming on your laptop. So in this guide, I'll teach you how to undervolt your GPU for better thermals and stability of your gaming laptop. But before that, go down for a bit and do consider to subscribe. That would really help me a lot. Just take note, some of the settings, preferences, and procedures might be situational and different from yours. But let's ask first, what is undervolting? It is the process of lowering the amount of power that your processor receives and finding the optimal voltage that you can use without causing performance instability. What are the reasons why we need to undervolt specifically our GPU? 1. Improves temperatures. 2. Increases lifespan. It reduces the stress on your GPU with lower voltage. 3. Increases small amount of battery life. 4. Improves performance. You'll gain small FPS increase on games and a higher sustained performance. 5. Improves stability. This increases your GPU efficiency. 6. Reduces power consumption. It means it will draw lower volume of power. And 7. Avoid thermal throttling due to hot temperatures that might decrease your system's performance. What are the things that you need to undervolt your GPU? You only need two things here. One is MSI Afterburner and a GPU stress test application like Unigine, 3D Mark, and Furmark, which what I'm gonna use. So let's jump into it. Let's undervolt our GPU. First, install MSI Afterburner. Second, install your GPU stress test application. Third, run both of them. Here's what you need to do. Start running that GPU stress test and monitor your GPU's highest temperatures, frequency, Stock voltage where your GPU clock speed runs on MSI Afterburner while that stress test is running. Fourth step, start undervolting. Now that you know your frequency where you want it to run, on my case, it's 1800. First, open your curve editor while that stress test is still running. Given that you found already your stock voltage, most of the time might be same as yours as well or on my case, it starts around 1050. After that, decrease the millivolts by minus 25 or minus 50 and match the frequency until you reach the point where it crashes or your preferred one. Highlight everything beyond that and press shift and double enter to match it or do it manually. That's the standard undervolting way. But you can also do the reverse undervolt where you directly jump to the desired voltage you want by your gut feeling or what that your GPU will still run stable on that voltage. But half of the time, expect it to fail, especially if you're going too low. And you might experience some lag or crash, but that's where you start undervolting. From that voltage, increase the millivolts from that end. It's a lot easier and quicker because you don't have to minus 25 or minus 50 every time from the start. As soon as it reaches the stabilization from the reverse end, you're good to go. On my case, I found mine running stable around 800 millivolts. So I highlighted everything ahead of that and matched the frequency, which is the 1800. Number five, optimizing. Back to the standard way of undervolting again. In case that's what you are doing, that you are decreasing it by minus 25 or minus 50 and testing things out. If it's still stable, reduce again by minus 25 or minus 50 millivolts until it crashes or until you reach your desired one. Number six, if it crashes, you can add plus 25 or plus 50 millivolts until it stabilizes based on your liking or preference. And for the last one, just save that profile and apply it and now you can finally test it on your games to check the results of the thermals or if you are satisfied already. You can go back and redo it if you really need to squeeze everything out. That's how easy it is and results are unimaginable as it does really give you a lot of benefits, including huge temperature drops, sustained stability, and long-term preservation of the overall of your gaming laptop. So that's it. I made it easier to understand and quick as possible without doing 10-minute video and it's all plainly straight to the point. Drop a like if this video helped you. Do subscribe as well on this channel. That would really help me a lot. And if you can also support my second channel that I have plans on, do consider subscribing as well. I would highly appreciate that. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on my Instagram or email. Hermes here. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.